G'day guys and girls and welcome back to my little channel, Goodies Beer Reviews. Hello. So now, I look in the fridge and I've got a few videos to upload and, and the reason why, I just want to share these ones with you. I haven't had this before. I don't want to have it alone. I do enjoy sharing the new ones, and that's a promise. I go to the fridge and I had a few of those poets' countries and the old sessional beers, and the missus come here for a yarn, and and uh, but then you just like the, But this is a very. Uh, I looked at the alcohol content on this. Uh, very low. Anyways, introduction. Revel, R E V E L, Revel Brewing, the Mango Mac Sour Ale. Brewed in Morningside, Queensland. One standard drink. Nice can. The colour's very nice. It looks mango-y. It's a sour. So a lot of people probably don't like sour beers. Some do. Maybe everyone keeps making them. So someone's got to be drinking them. Anyways. Bit of a spiel on the back. Over the past few summers, the Mango Mac has quickly became a crowd favourite. A thirst quenching summer treat. Pays tribute to Queensland classic, the mango and macadamia weiss bar. Oh, yum. It's one of my favourite. This kettle sour uses fresh locally sourced mango and macadamia to invigorate your sense and tantalise your taste buds. The Mac is back. It's got a scan. Um, Mac, so a weiss bar. That's what it's going for. Jeez, I do like those weiss bars. One standard drink. Jeez for your calories and your fun. Oh, it smells. Look, I love smells. I love the smell that some of these beers give. And sometimes you look at, I don't like mangoes. I don't like mangoes. I don't like the texture. I don't like the taste. Um, yeah, so to have this beer, this is what I like. I don't like mangoes. If it's a mango beer, though, and it fits the brief and it does it well, it's got to be a banger. It's got to be good. You know what I mean? We all like different things. The colour is beautiful. Again, it's been a while since I've said a beer looks bad. <laughs> I think any beer, even a ton, you throw a ton in a glass, it looks good. Anyway, uh, very carbonated, very active. The smell, let me guess, mango. Coconut, mate. Not sniffing a wee spark. This tastes like Sanctus's Pina Colada beer. They do a Pina Colada beer and it's got a little bit of a tinge of sour in it. They've changed the recipe, but the original Pina Colada from Sanctus, I loved. You know, it, it was just yum. This has the same smell. All I'm getting is coconut. Macadamias, well, I don't know. What does a macadamia smell like? Like any nut in your hand, so to speak. Anyway, let's have a chug. Cheers, everyone. Mate, it looks good. It smells good. Mango. I'm getting coconut. Anyway. It's sour. I'm not getting a lot of mango. This is what... I oh, see, there's the coconut. Look, coconut. It's more like a pina colada. Like a pina colada beer smash or a pina colada... Oh, kadunkadunks. Actually, we'll get this into the... We'll get this whole beer into this glass because it does have kadunkadunks sediment. It has got a lot of... Yeah, look at that. Some beers I do this, some I don't. But this beer has to be in the glass hole. It's very thick at the bottom. It's got a very heavy mouthfeel. It looks amazing. It looks gorgeous. Look at that transformation. And one standard drink, you could get rid of that pretty quick. What's the ABV? 3.5 ABV. Wow, that is an attractive beer. Look at that. Look at it. That looks of the goods. 
I'm going to go back and have another good chug of this with the conjunctor junks in the bottom, the cinnamon. I quite like that. I think it stays. Makes it more... Some people don't like it. Some people like really clear filtered beers. But look, you do your boo-boo. I like that. Let's have another chug. And this will be strictly about the beer today because I'm dropping a few regularly. I won't ramble on too much sometimes. That's a good beer. Oh, the, oh look, I like coconut. I'm not getting much mango. It should have been the coconut mac or the nut mac or the nut mac. Or a coconut sour. Yum. If this was labelled coconut sour, it wouldn't be the colour it is probably. Oh, well, it is B. You're pushing the boundaries of beer. I understand that. This fits the brief. This is a very big... You know when you open a can, I'm not expecting much, and you get a lot of good flavour. And it fits the brief. It's easy to drink. The problem is it's one standard drink, so you'd have to like... You know, more's going to be coming out of your body than going in. You might as well drink light beer but to have that much flavor in a low alcohol beer well that's like cooking up cheap cuts of meat and making it brilliant very very drinkable if you like your beers and you're a beer man you might not like this i like it and i'm not being stereotypical or anything and I'm not even justifying it. But it's not it's not a rushes or a new. It's out there. It's fun. It's fruity. It's coconutty. And I bloody love it. Got the Maggie's back today. Look, baby's over there. Or not a baby anymore, but must be my fifth generation, I think, coming around and eating some snacks and he's over on the driveway. The kids are playing out in the front, not mine, but yeah. Beautiful evening. It's just turned into a lovely, lovely bloody evening. Look at it. Weather's just beautiful. It's like having the aircon on outside. Anyways, I'll wrap this one up. This, oh, I've got to have another sip. Coconut to me is uh, predominantly the biggest flavour here, and I'm liking it. Um, Mango Max Sour Ale, it does what it's supposed to do. It fits the brief. That is so drinkable. This is the thing I struggle with. You have a beer and you go, that's a banger, or an all-day banger. That's the ultimate goal for me. That's the big gold medal is the old, it's, if it's an all-day banger. But you know what? I could sit at Rebel Brewing or I could sit and see this on tap and I'd walk into a pub now and I'd go, give me a pint or a schooner or a midi or a pot if you're up from the devil's country up north. You know, you just go. I don't know how anyone couldn't like this beer. Oh, I'm I'm struggling to call this a banger. And I mean in a good way. It is very, very drinkable. Very drinkable. And the regulars watching will probably go, he, you know, you'd have a lot less theatrics and voice and go, he called that a banger. But this is just, I'm so surprised and I'm happy. Banger. Absolute. Yeah, I can't. For what it's done for me, the happiness it's given me, the enjoyment, 
the fun, the flavours, the smell, the pour, the kadunkadunks. That's a banger. That is a banger of a beer. If I saw that again, I would get it. I think it cost me $8 or $7 a can from my local little Palmer's Island store. It, if you like your fun sours, get it. That's a great beer. That is just fun. One standard drink. If it was 7%, you'd be laughing. This is a good beer. And I will tell you, if you see this, grab one. If you like hints of mango, strong coconut and sours, buy it. All about the beer, this review. I'll leave you with that. Be kind to each other, love each other. I love you all and I'll see you at the next one. Catch us. Banger. Got in the can once. Catch us.